In today's video, we're gonna talk about the best grease pencil add-ons that you can use nowadays. So stick around till the end because I think it's gonna be worth it. So the first add-on we're gonna talk about is called Grease Pencil Draw Transform. And it basically helps you get some edit mode features while you are in the draw mode in the grease pencil. The add-on has four different tools that you can use, which are the grab, rotate, scale, and pinch. And to use those tools, you just need to hold the left mouse button on where you want to apply the tool and then press a key depending on the tool that you want to use. For example, you can press G to grab and move or you can press P to pinch. Furthermore, this add-on is very useful and gives you a better and faster workflow when working with strokes using the grease pencil. The next add-on on the list is called GP Animator Desk and it can help you with drawn animations. The first feature I would like to introduce to you guys is the Draw with Hints feature, which is a feature of hints that can help you to keep the order and direction of drawn strokes and prepare better keyframes for automatic in-betweens. Another feature I like is the Reference System, which is a panel of transforming and managing reference drawings without leaving the drawing mode. In addition, the add-on has an easy onion skinning color setup with just four presets, which enables fast switching. Furthermore, the add-on also has extended options for managing frames, and it gives you the option to choose between an overlaid side buttons or a toolbox panel, which allows fast switching between the most used tools, which is truly helpful. The next one we're gonna talk about is a pack full of texture brushes that can help you increase the quality of your art and it will speed up your workflow a lot. Some people might say that you can't use texture brushes in the grease pencil and how in the world can you use it? But the truth is you can use them and even I didn't know about that until recently. But I believe that this is just a myth because texture brushes for grease pencil are so uncommon and so a few people only use them. Anyways, let me talk to you about this pack and what it actually contains and what you can do with it. There are 120 different brushes in total, separated into three types. 60 texture brushes, 40 field textures, and the remaining 20 are line textures. So its powerful color randomization accelerates the creative process, and also numerous settings can be changed to add some randomness, and the grease pencil modifiers can be used to make quick, non-destructive modifications to your projects. Also drawings can react to light sources. Moreover, the fill textures are used to directly fill in the object, and they are great if you want to add some extra detail to your drawings, and it allows you to rapidly draw backgrounds and effects. On the other hand, line textures are used to draw more complex shapes faster. For example, you can draw a chair or a rope easily. Additionally, by giving you access to all these optimized textures, this add-on helps you save a lot of time while enabling you to push your creativity. In other words, this add-on will save you a lot of time by providing you with all the beautiful and optimized textures that will allow you to take your art to the next level. Moving on, we have this interesting and helpful add-on called Grease Pencil for Mesh, and as the name clearly suggests, it basically allows you to turn your 3D objects or meshes into a grease pencil object. Although this feature already exists in Blender with adding the line art modifier, it is not even as close to being as good as using this add-on. In addition, this add-on offers other features, such as full color conversions of all mesh materials into grease pencil colors, which will be helpful for artists who don't know exactly how to get a 2D color shader. Furthermore, it has edge filtering for sharp edges, intersections, and curved surface outlines, and you can convert selected edges that are marked as grease, sharp, and freestyle. You can also stylize the generated edges using edge noise, random thickness, edge offset, and multi-lines. Another interesting thing is that you can generate outlines around curved surfaces, and in the pro version, you can even generate lines and intersections even where there are no edges. In the last version of this add-on, the developers added animation, where the generated grease pencil object can copy the animation of the converted mesh and the added text object conversion without actually converting the text into a mesh object. This add-on will be helpful to those who suck at drawing but still want to make some 2D art using 3D objects inside Blender. Another cool add-on we're gonna talk about today is this one that I think is called NiJiG Pen 
This add-on brings some cool new features to the Grease Pencil that will help you create 2D graphic designs and illustrations. It basically focuses on 2D shape processing of the Grease Pencil strokes, and it aims at using Blender for graphic design and illustration. Generally speaking, it contains three main features. It can convert 2D shapes into meshes, it offers some basic operations of 2D shapes, and on top of that, it offers data exchange with other painting and design software, which is cool. So let me tell you what exactly these features are and what you can do with them. First, it has 2D boolean that you can use to do some basic operations such as union, difference, and intersection with newly drawn strokes. Additionally, the add-on contains some offset operations, for example, bevel and tint, or you can use the fill and line mode to generate multiple similar strokes. Also, the add-on allows you to generate 3D meshes from just 2D strokes and with multiple and different styles, which is cool. It allows you also to import XML codes generated by different color tools and palettes. Moreover, the add-on contains many other cool features that we can't discuss in this video because there are a lot of them, so if you want to know more about it, you can check the link in the description of this video. The next add-on we're going to talk about is Sketch and Carve, which is basically an add-on that can turn sketches and drawings into 3D meshes. But it doesn't stop there, since it has way more than that. The add-on will give you a new way of using the grease pencil for modeling, in addition to animation and even physics and simulations, and it was developed by the same guys from the grease pencil for mesh. Furthermore, the add-on provides a lot of features that can work as an alternative to modeling that gives you tremendous artistic freedom in addition to a lot of speed and the ability to model without even having to touch a single vertex, and it will help you if you are more familiar with 3D drawing than 3D modeling. Of course, its main feature is to convert sketches to geometry really fast, but it also contains other features such as add to merge two different objects and remove to get rid of the difference between two objects, and also intersect and slice to give some thickness to the object. Additionally, the add-on allows you to choose between a destructive and a non-destructive workflow. It also allows you to draw on surfaces, shrink wrap, and project strokes to surfaces. Generally speaking, the Sketch and Carve add-on has a lot of features, and we can't include all of them in this video. But you can check a video that we created a while ago about it, where you can see all the details and the features it has. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.